continue to search for the two men who just snuffed out a life last night in the brewery town section of Philadelphia for absolutely no reason. Action News reporter Maggie Kent is live at police headquarters tonight. Maggie, what have we learned since we first reported this deadly shooting last night at 11? Well, Jim, we learned more about the victim, Milan Lonkar. We spoke to his uncle today who says his nephew was just doing what he always does, taking the dog out for a walk. He says this is a mild manner guy. He would have never put up a fight in this situation. He just go out, go out to walk the dog. And they hear the shot. His sister Yelena call him. He don't answer. After dropping his sister and his girlfriend off at home, Milan Longcar took his dog for a walk just before 7 p.m. last night and never returned. The 25-year-old recent Temple graduate was fatally shot after two men approached him to rob him along the 3000 block of Jefferson Street. His uncle believes Longcar was a random target. And I don't think anybody would do something for this young man. I don't think he'd do any bad things so somebody can be after him to kill him. Police say surveillance cameras captured the entire incident. Investigators say Longcar didn't put up a fight as one man held a gun to his chest and the other rifled through his pockets. The shooter or shooters fired from very close proximity, which was captured on private surveillance cameras. The 25-year-old spent some of his childhood in Fairmount and then moved to Malvern and returned to the city to study at Temple. His girlfriend and him plan to move together next month and planning the, to get married. Again, police have video of those suspects, although one of the suspects in the video is wearing a face mask, so his identity is partially obstructed. The uncle of the victim says this is not just about burying his nephew. He is extremely concerned about the level of violence here in Philadelphia. He's asking both the community and the police department to step up. We're live outside of police headquarters. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Jim.